Okay, so we're in the Forensic Science Laboratories at the University of West London and we're going to look at uh, a, a, a presumptive test for blood staining. So if you go into a crime scene room, you might see a stain there. You don't know whether it's blood or not. You can do a, a quick test to, to ascertain whether it, is, whether it is blood. We've got a t-shirt here with various stains on it and uh, the procedure is you, could, you can scrape a stain. You get a stain that you see there, you can scrape the edge of it on, you can see here. And then you open it out. And then you can see the, the, the little bit of a mark there on the on the paper there. And you come with three different solutions. So you use the first one you use is is alcohol, ethanol, and this will uh, if there is if these are red blood cells here, it will release the hemoglobin from the blood. So it denatures the blood and it releases hemoglobin from it. So you put that on there. And then there's the second solution is a, an indicator, and this will turn pink if there is blood there. So it shouldn't it shouldn't turn pink yet because obviously we haven't done any, any reaction on it yet. You can see it's yellow. And then kind of an oxidising agent this oxidises the hemoglobin, and that gives the colour change to the phenolphthalate, which was the second reagent. And if there is blood, then you see a pink coloration coming through and you can see there so there's a pink coloration going from yellow to pink and that indicates that it is blood so that is actually a blood stain so you can all have a go then you can have a crack at that just there's other stains here you can try so you've got plenty of filter papers here you can do so quarter it so you've got a, a, an edge a corner scrape the stain with, with the edge open it out and then add the, add the solutions to it and, and see it if you see a pink or a red coloration at the end, then that indicates that it is blood. You can also use cotton swabs if you like. Or you can try both. Yeah, there you go. There's more t-shirts somewhere, isn't there? I don't know if there's one in there, but it's better. Do you like a cotton swab as well? Yeah. <laughs> you never know, you never know. You know when you do this, right? You know how you have to use solutions, but then you have to separate them. Do you, like, do you have to do it together? You do them all together because one's reacting with the next. So the first one is so going to say, always got only be one reactor. Yes, yes. yes. Because it's an ongoing reaction, so they're all, they're all coming together. The three, the three solutions are coming together to get the red colour. That's the second one, yeah. So that's the second one. Yeah, this is number two. Yeah, so the, 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 the alcohol first. That releases the red blood cells from the blood, if there are any red blood cells there, if it is blood. Is there a certain time you've got to do the No, it's straight after, after straight there. after, yeah, straight can after. You, leave you can it do it for a while. You can, you can leave it, yeah, but you, do, you can do it straight away as well. And um, if it takes about 30 seconds, yeah, that means that it's just negative. That's right, yes. Yeah, it yeah, so should turn red That's right. If it turns red after the first two, then it's, it's, it's a false false positive, and you can get that. Because some things like some, some stains can give. An indication that it's blood, but it really isn't. Mm. Can you turn uh, to the HDMI cable over the, the this table? Is me, this is just on top of the table. Presumptive uh, blood test. So just so you know, it, it, it's sort of saying it, it, it could be blood there, but it might not be. So you say that's positive, yeah? Yes, you can see the red coloration there. And that wasn't there at the beginning, was it? No. no. So that has definitely gone. So that, it, that which stain was that there? Yeah, that one there, yeah. yeah so that is blood. The red is there already, so I don't know. If it happened after the second one, it's a false positive. Shouldn't happen after the second solution. Only when the third one. Oh, the third one. There's three solutions. This is the second. Yeah, there's a third one. Oh, that's the third one. Yeah. That's the third. Ah, so it's already gone. So that's a positive. So that's the false. What should only go after the third one? Doesn't do that now. Yeah. Cause, so that's not blood because it went after the second one. Which one? Which thing is that? Yeah. So you'd, you'd think that was blood, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> it can be de deceiving. Very fresh blood. Yeah, because yeah, well, as blood like lays, it gets darker, it gets because it rusts basically, it goes brown. So and that, and that could be like coffee. So because yeah. that coffee stain or blood, is it? You know, which one is it? Sort of thing. What's the number three? 
Number three is a, is a peroxide. So that, that, that oxidizes the hemoglobin and then that's, that's reacting with the number two which gives the colour. And that's why you shouldn't see the colour after the, after the first two. You only see that because there's no oxidizing agent by that, by that point. And then if things like that do oxidise, it can give a false positive. Things like bleach well, can deal with that. It to be red necessarily, but it can give a false positive. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, if I do on this, I'm yeah. right. I could uh, do this on here. Yes, yes. That's going to rub it onto here. Have you got, have you got a stop? Yeah, that's it. That's mm -hmm. fine. Oh, a lot more um, evidence. A lot more red, yeah. Yeah, it's easier. Oh, it's easier to pick up with that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It depends if this stain's very small, then you might have to go with this, because you haven't got much to... Swab. But if you've got a big stain like that, then you can probably go with a bigger, bigger sample. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So try one of the others, the less obvious ones, the green one or the yellow one, see if, see if that's blood or not. Try, try with the, the uh, cotton bud, you might see them like that see better. Because as you say, it's white or green, you can't really tell. If you do it with this one, you might be able to get more off. Especially if you dip that in water. If you water that first, that will lift it. It's not. That's the point, is it? Well, done about seven and a half minutes. Huh? What about this one? This one's the one here. Is it blood? They're just seemingly they're just repeating the same thing. They're just repeating the same thing. Just in the same thing over and over again. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thank you.